animal products. Whilst perfumers world chooses not to use them, tiny amounts of animal secretions or glands are sometimes used in perfumery. The material is usually used in the form of tinctures, that is, steeped and matured in alcohol, ideally for three months or more. Ambergris from the blue sperm whale. Ambergris is believed to be produced after the blue sperm whale eats cuttlefish and squid. The sharp beaks scratch at the abdominal or intestinal wall, causing it to bleed and produce pus. The blood and pus form in a black mass around the beaks that can be the size of a small pebble or even grow to several kilograms. It is believed, only believed, as no one has actually witnessed it, that at some point the whale either passes the crude ambergris through feces or if too large, regurgitates it. Hence, ambergris is sometimes referred to as whale vomit. If the ambergris has just been expelled into the water or found in a whale that has been harvested in the whaling industry, then the ambergris will be black, fishy and unpleasantly fecal smelling. If, however, left naturally to float on the sea for many months, the black congealed blood gets washed away the sun and sea air dispel the fishy smell and eventually the mass becomes a light grey amber colour. Has a waxy grainy texture with a characteristic soft powdery velvety animalic earthy odour. Perfumer's world's non-animal alternative is ambergris fluorescence. Civet from the civet cat. The civet cat is not truly a cat, but has a general cat-like appearance with a somewhat pointed face. The civet cat produces a secretion near its sexual glands and wipes its rear end on trees for marking its territory. Whilst it is possible to harvest the pasty civet secretion from trees, in practice the cat is caged. The civet cat produces more civet if it is agitated, so the keepers poke it with sticks at frequent intervals. Then, the civet paste is scraped from its glands. Natural civet in concentration has a very unpleasant fecal odour, but if highly diluted becomes quite floral, even reminiscent of lily of the valley flowers. Perfumer's world's non-animal alternative is civet fluorescence. Castorium from the castor beaver. Castorium is the exudate from the castor sacs of the mature Canadian and Siberian beaver. The beaver is regarded as a pest in forestry regions because of its felling of trees to build dams. So at regular intervals, cull orders are issued by the local authorities to destroy a large number of beavers. The castor sacs are removed from the dead beavers and dried and aged for two or more years. The sacs are then soaked in pure ethyl alcohol to produce a tincture. The alcohol can also be evaporated off to produce castorium absolute. Castorium develops a rich natural leather odor, hence its wide use in men's fragrances. It is also used in traces in flavorings. Perfumer's world's non-animal alternative is castorium fluorescence. Musk from the Tibetan musk deer. The small shy deer is native to Tibet and lives in the mountains. The musk pod is an organ situated near the sexual organs of the male deer. The deer is captured and killed and a two inch diameter pod removed and dried. The pod takes on a leathery appearance with coarse hairs around its top. Inside the pod are tiny gray black musk grains. The grains are then soaked in ethyl alcohol to produce a tincture. After several months of maturation, the tincture is ready to use. Natural musk has an animalic odor, more so than the synthetic musks, but also has an intense but light powdery earthy sweetness. The deer is now believed to be farmed in India, China and Siberia, but it is very secret as the trading on natural musk is banned in most countries. Perfumer's world's non-animal alternative is musk fluorescence. 